out. You've made a lot of calls for bipartisanship, but you're a leading voice in the anti-gun movement, which puts you immediately at odds with a lot of Republicans. You spent a lot of money, but Congress hasn't taken up any major gun control measures in a national level since Sandy Hook. So do you feel like your efforts have been effective? Um, what I have asked for, and most of my friends who have asked for, are background checks. We shouldn't be selling guns to minors, to people with psychiatric problems, or people with criminal records. Other than that, the Second Amendment gives you the right to own weapons, and there's nothing wrong with that. It, 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 it's the Constitution. We're not going to change it. I think maybe automatic weapons don't make a lot of sense, but if you want to buy a gun and go through the background check process, that's what the law lets you do. And I'm not opposed, I'm not in favor of taking that away one bit. In fact, I had an NRA member came up to me yesterday and said, look, I disagree with you on guns, but let me tell you, I and all my friends are going to vote for you. Uh, I still think that there is reasonable restrictions with, you can put on and who you sell guns to, and that's what I'm in favor Does it, of. It disheartened you that there hasn't been any legislation passed in Sandy? No, but there's been a lot at the state level. There are 18 states that have put in background check requirements, mm -hmm. not taking away your guns, just before you buy one, you have to go through the background check process. The 19th state is Nevada. The people publicly have voted for it, but the governor has not implemented it. And there are another, you know, 20, uh, 31 states that we can get at a local level. It would be a lot easier if the Congress did it. Yeah. Just have background checks. And when you survey NRA members, 80 and 90% of them want background checks. This could go on forever.